Ready? Are ready? Hello. Hi, everybody, <laughs> and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are your hosts, Arne and Carlos, and today we are going to talk about uh, finishing garments. Yes. So yes. we're going to use water, iron, and an iron. Yeah. And um, we have this arm if yeah. we need it. Mm -hmm. so. We've been we've been reading comments, and uh, I have uh, we have noticed that quite a lot of people have been uh, asking us to do this tutorial how to finish the garment, how to get it, you know, beautiful after you have spent so much time knitting it. So we thought we would show you the way we like to do it. Now, there are many, many different ways to finish up a garment. Um, English is not our mother language. Uh, the first time we went to America, um, we were talking about steaming because that's what we like doing. We like finishing the garments with steam. And a lot of people uh, asked us if we meant blocking, which to that we answered, well, probably that's the word they <laughs> use to finish the garment. So we said yes. And then afterwards we learned that with blocking people meant, I think they meant pinning the, the garments um, onto a surface yeah. and uh, getting them wet, I suppose. Yeah. We and, never pin garments. But we don't do that. We don't like doing that particular uh, technique because it is very time consuming and you need a lot of space and yeah. it just takes too much time. And as uh, we have told you before, we used to work uh, professionally uh, in the fashion industry. We had our own little brand, the Arne and Carlos brand, uh, and we made ready to wear knitwear. We have produced knitwear in Italy, we produced knitwear in Lithuania, and we produced uh, the last years uh, that we were this is uh, supplying ready to wear, we were supplying it from Peru. And we used to visit the factories uh, quite often. And, uh, you know, even, even in Peru, they didn't have these uh, very advanced uh, equipments to finish the garments. They, they had these people that were finishing them by hand using a simple iron and an ironing board. Uh, so that's, I mean, even industrially speaking, that's the way they prefer to do it. And, and this and, is how we did it like. When I was a kid. Yeah, and this is the way we like doing it. So um, you know, when you knit a, when you knit a garment uh, and you finish it off, uh, you need to do the finishing process because it will give it that finish that you want. Now, the first thing that happens when you steam the garment, it's a miracle, uh, <laughs> because all the stitches they even out and they just fall into place and they look beautiful. That's the first thing. The second thing, if you've messed up somewhere, if you've made a mistake uh, when you actually steam it, sometimes these mistakes miraculously go away. You can pull the stitch. You can pull a stitch a little steam. bit. You can do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, steam it and whoops, it's gone. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you shouldn't even consider unraveling something for a tiny mistake that may disappear in the process. Yeah. Um, so. And then, of course, I want to talk quickly about uh, natural fibers. We love working with natural fibers and we are from Norway. So wool is probably our number one favorite fiber to work with. Uh, and of course, you can also work with things like alpaca. And working with wool uh, and alpaca, you've got steam and these fibers, they love steam. And I usually say that when we steam a woolen garment, we're actually adding kind of conditioner. It's like you wash your hair and you add conditioner to make it soft and beautiful. And this is exactly the same thing that happens with steam. When you steam the garment, you're adding a kind of a conditioner and you're making the yarn very, very happy. Mm -hmm. So shall we uh, yes. start the steaming so process? We use just a towel Yeah. and we, we put it in the water. <laughs> a wet towel and a warm iron. And you have to remember when you do the steaming or blocking or you call it dumping in Norwegian. Yeah, steaming. Steaming. Never use the cloth and the iron on the rib. Yeah. That's so not good. Usually you knit the rib in let me wait until he finishes with the water. Okay, I'm working away. Okay. <laughs> so usually usually you knit the rib in a smaller size needle and then you increase the needle size to do the stocking net. The reason you do that is because you want the rib to be tighter and to be pulled inwards. Now if you would add heat and steam to this rib it will expand because it is already elastic because it's knit and pearl and you definitely don't want that. Can I say something? I know that some people in Norway they also prefer just to put the wet towel on top like this and leave it like this. I know that some people do that but we use heat. So it's literally getting a wet towel, put it, you know, moist it all the way, make it wet, put it over the knitting and just press. And just press. And you can see 
the Not steam and you can hear the sizzling sound. If there's no sizzling, you should stop. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to you don't want to do this for too long, but you do want to get it all I think that's enough. Yeah. Press gently and that then you can looks, just looks great under. And you can just keep going. I'll just do this whole surface. Gently press and see that steam coming up. And I'm just decoration right now. Yeah. And the humidity, the humidity is going into the garment and the garment is now having this, it's like a massage. I'm kind of putting the garment through a spa treatment here. That's your next profession. You can work in the spa. In the knitting spa. In the knitting spa. Yeah. <laughs> you can bring your knitter to Carlos and he do the... So what do you think, Arne? Is this... I think it's enough. If you look at it now. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. It's Maybe you can see a difference. Well. Yes, you can see a little bit a of little a difference. Bit. It's all nice and even. <laughs> you can feel it that there's still some humidity. So, that, so it feels more like a fabric. That just needs to dry up a little bit. And, uh, and then you just keep finishing the garment. Uh, now we've more done more water for the next round. More water for the next yeah. round. If you look here, we have knitted the uh, facing uh, and we've added the placket. I to think when we made the jacket, we said we won't steam it because it looked good, but now we have to show steaming. So, so we, we will, yeah. It. So here you can see you've got the placket and it's attached to the knit. And this is a little bit bulky now. Because it's become we bulky. Shouldn't you shouldn't steam it. Yeah. That was the idea. And now you need to kind of press this down as well so that the knit becomes even all the way. So. Uh, Let's see, Arne, would you like to put in, just put, just the, put in the towel and I will... Put the towel on top of the knit. We can put it so you don't, so we don't cover up, so you see. Okay. Then you just steam. But we made this, like, we made it with a purpose not to steam it, but now we're steaming. <laughs> and <laughs> so you can listen to the sound of the sizzling steam that is coming out and onto the garment. Just press that nice and gentle. And what happens? And you Good. see how the placket is now coming into place. It's all looking very, very nice. Let's just do a little bit more here. Now, what I want to say is the good thing about using this method is that most people have an ironing board and an iron at home. So if you're watching this video now and you feel like steaming all your garments, more than likely you just go to your cupboard, you grab your iron, you go and grab the ironing board and a towel, everybody has a towel, and you just start and you do it. There's no need to buy any equipment. Now, um, I've heard that uh, you can get, you know, things like these things, stabilizers to or these, these surfaces that you can pin garments on. But now with blocking equipment, we're actually talking about an investment. You need, need to go out, you need to get those things. Maybe you don't have pins, you need to get pins. So in a way, this is a very simple uh, technique that will give you the same result as if you had to go out to get all that blocking equipment. But we never block like pieces because when you knit the piece, it's also shaped. So, yeah. So it should, the shape should be in the knit already. So it shouldn't be necessary to, yeah, exactly. to, to stretch it in any way. And even if you do that and you finish a garment and you put it on. Yeah. And by giving it, it and by giving it, it that, or... by giving it that finishing touch, by giving it that uh, you know steam on top, when the garment is sewn, you also shape the garment and give it its final perfect touch. Now we do sometimes pin things down. It happens, especially when we do crochet. Uh, we'll pin crochet pieces down. So we are not saying that we don't do it, but when it comes to finishing garments, we always go the ironing board, the damp cloth and the iron. I have never pinned a garment. But you have pinned crocheted things. Pinned crochet and sometimes. if if you now because we mentioned that thing that you need to buy, that surface that you need to pin things onto, if you're now going, "Oh my god, I need you know, I don't have that. You don't worry about it. Pin it on your one. ironing board. It's the same thing. Yeah. These ironing boards are made in a way that they have, they have some softness to them and you can pin there. So there's no need to go get uh, anything if you don't actually feel like you need it. Should I talk about the sleeve? Let's talk about the sleeve. 
So when we do the sleeve, we do the same. We use the wet towel, never the rib. And you can actually use, you can just pin, uh, block it on the, the table. On the ironing board. On the ironing board. But sometimes you can get a sharp line if you're not careful. So if you, if you don't have an arm like this, then you just block it one time like this, you open it. And you block it again block the it other again, way. Block it again, and then if you get a line, you just have to put it on the edge. And just... And block it without touching the mm. side. So exactly the same, but never the rib. Yeah, and then finally what I would do, we're not going to do it now because I think you understand the process, but the final touch would be the sleeves because the sleeves have been attached with facing. So you want to get this down because this is a little bit bulky right now. And to do the sleeve, uh, the top of the sleeve and the armhole, uh, we've got this cute little mini ironing board that Arne don't, bought. Don't look at the fabric. Yeah. I found it in the thrift, thrift store. store. And it, we should actually add some new toile on top, Yeah, we didn't. Which we will. But it's from a thrift store. It's very, very handy to, to get to reach those areas which are difficult on a board like that. So the process would probably this, be the same as you can guess. We just grab the sleeve, we put it nicely over that, and then we grab the, the cloth which we then put on top and, the and then the iron. Let's do that again because I like the sound. <laughs> I think yeah, it should be fine. And you keep doing that gently yeah. and uh, all the way around. I think one of the questions that is going to be uh, coming is what temperature on the iron? Uh, I wouldn't go too hot, <laughs> not, uh, not too, too hot. hot, not too cold. I would put it in the kind of the middle scale of the, yeah, of the and temperature. And as long as the, the towel is wet and if it stops making that sound, it's yeah. not a problem. But the iron should not be too hot because there is a risk if you are yeah. pressing too hard and there's too much warmth that the garment can expand as well. So keep... And remember if it's a white garment, it's so easy to burn, burn it if you don't use the towel. So the towel method is the best. It protects the garment and it keeps it nice and moist when you are steaming. So try it. Uh, moderate heat is a, a very important recommendation. Do not keep pressing very hard, just gently pressing, uh, not for too long. Keep moving the uh, iron back and forth, kind of massaging the <laughs> garment with steam and you will have a perfect, beautiful garment at the end of the day. I think we shouldn't say more now. This is it's not rocket science. It's not rocket no. science. Luckily, it's, it's knitting. It's knitting. So and steaming. Absolutely. So thank <laughs> you. Moist is a nice word. I love the word moist. 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 That comes right nicely out of your <laughs> when you pronounce it. Great word. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we look forward to bringing tutorials to you every single week. So please, if you're not subscribing, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button if you like this video. And if you have any suggestions, any comments, please be sure to put them in the comments field below. And if you have other ways that you like finishing your garments that would you would like to share with us, please feel free to do that as well. Thank you so much, and see you again next time. Bye. Bye.